Welcome to Grove Tail Middle School's Media Center. Hi students, and welcome to the Grove Tail Middle School Media Center. We're so thrilled that you've decided to visit with us today and learn about what we have to offer. Whether you're interested in learning about books and computers or a reading area, there are lots of activities and resources for you to enjoy. So let's get ready to learn how we can find what we're looking for in the different areas of our Media Center. Within our Media Center, there are several areas that we will learn about today. Let's begin with one of our most abundant resources, books. Among the numerous books available, there are four main sections, each section containing books of a specific genre. First, we will learn about our fiction books, then move on to nonfiction, biography, and finally reference. Pay attention to discover what each of these sections has to offer. Throughout our presentation, we'll stop for quick reviews to clarify your understanding. This is what's called the fiction section. Books within this section are not true and are made up by the author. Usually, these books consist of chapters with few, if any, pictures. Therefore, they require lots of imagination for you to understand them. Books in this section are arranged in alphabetical order by the author's last name. Within the fiction section, books will have a call number that begins with an F or FIC. This, of course, represents the word fiction. Below this, the first few letters of the author's last name will be displayed. For example, if you are looking for the book Forest of the Pygmies by Isabel Allende, you would look in the A section. Now, it's important to remember that as we find our book, there are certain things that we need to pay attention to. Here, the call number is located on the bottom portion of the spine of our book. In fact, all books in the Media Center have a call number, so they can be easily located and returned to where they are supposed to be. As you can see, our book's call number is F for Fiction, with ALL for Yande underneath it. Now let's explore our nonfiction section. Nonfiction books are true and are used to gather information on a particular subject. Unlike fiction books, nonfiction books are shelved by numerical order by subject or topic. In order to find a book in this section, you must use what's called the Dewey Decimal System. This system groups books in sets of 10. If this sounds a little confusing, that's okay. We have signs placed on the end of our bookshelves to help you find the book you're looking for. For example, if I wanted to find a book on the Animal Kingdom, I would look under the 500 section as shown on this shelf marker. Within this bookshelf, I will find books about the Animal Kingdom. Notice that on the spine of these books, I see the Dewey Decimal System number assigned to the book along with the first three letters of the author's last name. For example, on the Book of Animals by Tom Jackson, we can see the numbers 590 and JAC on the label. Again, this system helps us both find the book and replace it where it belongs. Now let's review. If I wanted to find a book on autism, would I look in the nonfiction section or the fiction section? If you said nonfiction, you're right. Now let's try another question. If I want to find J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, would I look in the fiction section or nonfiction section? If you said fiction, you're right. Simply look for the call number label with the F for fiction and R-O-W for Rowling. Now let's take a look at the biography section. A biography is used to describe a book that is a true story about someone's life but written by another person. In this section, you will find all sorts of books about historical figures, athletes, movie stars, and even singers. The biography section is located directly beside the nonfiction section in the Media Center. These books are organized by a label with the letter B for biography on the top and the first three letters of the person's last name the biography is about. For example, if I wanted to find a book about John Lennon, I would of course look for the B for biography at the top and L-E-N for Lennon and then begin reading about this famous singer and songwriter. On the other side of our media center, we have the reference section. In this section, we can find encyclopedias, dictionaries, and atlases. We can use these resources all we want, but since these books are used in high demand, we are not allowed to take these out of the media center. Encyclopedias are written in what are called volumes. These books provide for us true information about various topics. On the spine of these books, we will find an R or the letters R-E-F for reference. 
Also, you will see that the encyclopedias are numbered and lettered. This information is used to not only keep the books in order, but also to help you find information that is of interest. For example, if you were wanting to find information on Thomas Jefferson, you would look in the volume with the letter J printed on the spine. Also included in our reference section, we have dictionaries. Our dictionaries cover all types of aspects. Some of the dictionaries we have include those for explorers of language, rhyming dictionaries, and even ones of different levels. In these books, words are arranged in alphabetical order so that you can easily find the words you're looking for. For example, if I wanted to find the definition of the word dragonfly, I could use the New Explorer Student Dictionary. Atlases are also available in this section. These resources consist of numerous maps shown through different perspectives of areas from around the world. These resources are useful in that they help us locate and study these areas to improve our knowledge. That completes our reference section. Now let's review. All the information located in the reference section is true. Encyclopedias, dictionaries, and atlases are all found in this section. These resources are not allowed to be checked out or even leave the library. That completes our tour of the book section. We have learned about fiction books, nonfiction books, biographies, and reference books. But that's not all we have to offer in our media center. Let's take a look at the other resources we have right here in Grovetown Middle. Our media center also has 12 computer workstations available for student use. You can use these computers to look up needed materials in our media center, or you can use it as an information source to research material for a class. You can also create and complete those assignments on the computers as well. Once you've selected your book or completed your assignment for class, there are comfy couches and chairs provided for your use. Also available for you are magazines you can read as you wait. Be sure to check this area out. Speaking of checking out, we'll need to visit our circulation desk to check out your book. First, you provide your lunch number to check out up to two books for up to two weeks. Then, you scan the barcode located on the book and the media specialist or clerk inputs it into the computer. Don't worry if you don't see either the media specialist or clerk at the front desk. They are always somewhere near to help you. Once you finish reading your book, you will be required to return it. To do this, simply slide the book into the book drop. And that's it. Once you've done that, the media specialist or clerk will check the book back in by scanning the barcode and inputting it into the computer. Then it will be placed on the return carts so that it can be returned to its original place on the shelf so that other students may use it. We have now completed our tour of the Grovetown Middle School Media Center. Let's see if you can use what you've learned in order to answer a few questions. Our media specialist, Ms. Cross, is holding two books that were found somewhere on the shelves of our library. On our left, she holds a book about Booker T. Washington by Eric Braun. And on our right, she holds a book entitled What Would Joey Do by Jack Gantos. Where could we find these two books? If you said we could find the Booker T. Washington book in the biography section and What Would Joey Do in the fiction section, then you're right. Finally, if you are wanting to check out a book from the Media Center, what must you do? If you said give the Media Specialist or Clerk your lunch number and scan the barcode, you are right. We hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Grovetown Middle School's Media Center and that you feel more comfortable in your search for your next book. Please come back anytime.